COP stands for the Convention of the Parties. It is the convention that is now organized around Paris Agreement and that aims at avoiding dangerous changes in the climate system. The main uh, outcome of last year's negotiations was actually the decision to address the problem of loss and damage because uh, we are no longer talking about future impacts of climate change but there's already significant impacts that have occurred based on climate extremes to many nations. COP28, the main, there are two main drivers of the conversation. One is to resource that loss and damage fund and there's been a number of pledges announced by many nations. And the second conversation is actually on a push from Western nations deliver commitments to phase out oil and gas. Stream is a pioneer in addressing climate change through sports. In fact, now uh, there are two frameworks that uh, bring sports into the conversation. One is uh, called Sports for Climate Action, of which Streamy is a member since the onset of the competition. The second one is a new framework that was created last year in Montreal during the COP15 of biodiversity, and that is called the Sports for Nature. Extreme is one of the original signatories of that uh, framework. Extreme E recognizes that climate and biodiversity are really joint challenges. So when we deploy uh, legacy programs, then we deploy programs that are both alleviating climate impacts, but also they are nature positive. Extreme has had a strong presence in COP28. He has been involved in discussions about how sustainable mobility can advance climate goals. He has been involved in a discussion about how gender equality is important to address climate action with justice. And he has also been involved in addressing how sports can catalyze uh, climate action and also the requirements to repair problems on the environment and nature through our legacy projects. COP20 ends is all about climate action. Uh, in my view, climate action will only happen through technology. And uh, Extreme E and uh, soon Extreme H are basically that are platforms to develop technology that can be used to uh, reduce emissions, that can be used in the big picture to uh, fight climate change. That's why it's important that Extreme E and Extreme H are here at COP28.